Hello, I'm Jason Meyer, Group Product Manager for the Commercial Projector Division at Epson America. At Epson, we understand the workflow that teachers and students are adapting to when instructing and learning from home. Schools' priorities are shifting rapidly to adapt their methods of instruction to students. Some are considering a shift from a traditional physical classroom to a hybrid classroom model. With a hybrid classroom model, teachers will need to collaborate, share content, stream live instructional video, and even share documents and other physical instructional materials simultaneously. Today, we would like to show you how you can easily integrate a popular video conferencing platform like Zoom with an Epson Brightlink interactive projector and an Epson document camera to create a collaborative and engaging classroom experience, whether your students are in the classroom, at home, or both. First, let me explain the setup. Here is my PC connected to the Brightlink, and here is an Epson document camera also connected to the PC. Everything that happens on the PC can be viewed on the Brightlink, and you can control the PC from the Brightlink as well. This means that you can start and control a Zoom session directly from the board. One of the useful features built into Zoom is the Zoom whiteboard function. I'm going to show you how you can use this setup along with Zoom's whiteboard function and a document camera to deliver a virtual lesson from your classroom to anyone connected via Zoom. You can teach from the front of the classroom and the students at home can participate in the lesson as well. I've connected to a Zoom session and invited a friend to help me demonstrate how this works. After I've started the session, I'm going to go to the bottom of my screen and select Share Screen. A window will pop up, select the whiteboard, and click Share. Once the whiteboard is open, you can see that my camera is still operating so that anyone that is not in the room can not only see the whiteboard on their device, but also see the instructor standing at the front of the room. This helps students at home to feel like they're in the classroom. Using the Brightlink and the Zoom whiteboard, I'm going to create a simple math problem on the board. Now I'm gonna ask Jerry to solve the problem from his device at home. Hey Jerry, go ahead and solve the problem on the board. You can see as Jerry is solving the problem and everyone in the classroom can see what Jerry is writing on the board. This can be viewed on any of the devices in the Zoom session and on the Brightlink at the front of the classroom. Now that I've shown you how you can create a simple collaborative whiteboard session, I'm gonna show you how to introduce a document camera into the lesson. I have here the Epson DC13 document camera. This is a great document camera, but what I'm going to show you should work with any document camera connected via USB to your PC. While you're still in screen share mode, you can switch cameras with a simple shortcut. I'll press Alt-N. Since my document camera is already connected to my PC, this will switch to the document camera view. Now I'm gonna stop sharing so we can see the document camera in full screen. Now I can use the document camera to introduce other visuals into the lesson. When I'm done with the document camera, I can switch to the whiteboard and continue the lesson. So I'm gonna go back to the share screen function, click whiteboard and hit share. And whether you're in the classroom or at home, you can see it all on your device or at the front of the classroom. And that's it. With a Brightlink interactive display, a document camera and a video conferencing platform, it's quick and easy to create a compelling and collaborative lesson. Whether you're looking to create a hybrid classroom or just looking for a virtual classroom instruction alternative, this is a solution that is available today. Finally, at Epson, we appreciate the incredible contribution that teachers make to our children's lives, and we are dedicated to helping them improve student outcomes. We hope this video will help as you are adapting to the new realities of hybrid and virtual education. Thanks again.